I'm Heather Leach, um, PRVCA's Executive Director. Uh, I will apologize if I cough. I was at RVDA last week and I think my souvenir was a cold. So I do apologize if, if I'm coughing in the background. Um, uh, I want to thank you for joining us for our annual meeting to hear what we've accomplished for the year. Um, please make sure that you have yourself muted um, so that everyone can hear the presentation. Um, hopefully you can see my shared screen that says annual meeting on the front. Um, I will be starting things off with our election of officers. So I am pleased to report hold on, um, that the following were the results from our October 31st election. Secretary Brad Roan was elected, um, Ed Flick, treasurer, Ryan Esch, manufacturer director, Haddon Smith, Smith, rolling stock director, Brad Bryant, rolling stock director, William Miller, rolling stock director, Michael T. Keller, supplier director, and Todd Blevins, at-large director. So congratulations um, to the new board members. We appreciate you um, volunteering your time to serve the industry. Um, the other board, media, board members who will be completing their term are Greg Starr, chairman, Nick Boyer, vice chairman, Steve Byler, senior manufacturer director, Tim Umstead, past chairman, <laughs> Dave Fretz, show committee chairman, Dan Saltzgiver, rolling stock director, Casey Colton, rolling stock director, Rocky Riley, park model manufacturer, Jason Vaughn, campground director, and Chuck Jablonski, at-large director. Thank you to everyone who voted and to those board members volunteering your time to serve the association. Um, before I pass you over, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to the uh, chairman, I want to take a moment to thank all of our members for the support um, and continued dedication to the association. I also want to thank all of our committees, the show committee chaired by Steve Fretz, the legislative impact committees chaired by Brad Roan, and the membership and education committee chaired by Mike Guerin. Um, each committee's work is essential to the success of PRVCA, so thank you to everyone. I would also like to thank the board members who helped set up the association's goals, and make sure we're meeting the needs of our members. So we're nothing without our volunteers and appreciate all the time and energy you give to the association. Without further delay, I will pass the presentation to the chairman of the board, Greg Starr. Thanks, Heather. Again, I'd like to reiterate uh, congratulations and thank you to the new board members that are that came on board this year. Um, for those of you that have never actually seen our mission statement, uh, PRBCA does have a mission statement. Our mission statement is to enhance the recreational vehicle and camping industry through education and promotion by being a resource and partner to all segments of the RV camping industry. And today I'd like to share with you uh, all that the PRVCA has done over the last year to meet our mission. Uh, to start off, we're gonna talk about membership. Membership, we have 362 members made up from all the segments of the RV and camping industry but about a 3% increase in membership compared to last year. Um, service makes up 31% of our membership. Dealers make up 21% of our membership. Suppliers uh, and distributors make up 17%. Manufacturers make up 13%. Campgrounds, 12%. And then the remaining percentages are from aftermarket, press, insurance, finance, associations, and legacy members. Uh, next, we'll move on to education. Uh, education is, is very important to our, uh, to our mission. Um, this past year, we've, we had 10 live in-person classes for the training sessions that run October through March. We had eight webinars. Uh, nearly 400 technicians we had registered uh, for all of our training classes, including the show education also. Um, some of those included Air XL, Lippert, Coleman Mock, um, RVTI level one training, RV electricity, solar, suburban. Uh, we also hosted the RVWA training and uh, also leadership training. Again, these are completely free as member benefits. So that's one of our huge member benefits that we offer to all of our members. Um, this upcoming year, we'll be offering some uh, other great education opportunities, uh, continuing with Air XL, Coleman and Lippert. Uh, we're also doing uh, the World Friendship Company's uh, electronic and converters. 
and then uh, continuing with RV TI level one training. Also RV electricity, um, adding the seal tech leak testing, and then we're gonna be doing some more also. Um, on PRVCA's website, you can find the calendar to all these events are listed there. And as a member, you also have access to any of the webinars on demand. So you can watch them at your leisure also. Again, then we'll be adding more webinars throughout the year also. We've also partnered with uh, RVDA's Mike Molino RV Learning Center for service and parts training. Uh, we have 87 members registered for those online courses. We've also partnered with PA Career and Technical Education Center and have established relationships with the Greater Johnstown and Central Westmoreland. Uh, our education director, James, is also planning on attending career fair days at Dauphin County Tech and Sun Tech. PRVCA established a learning management system that will allow online learning. Uh, RV Electricity was the first course available and 10 more classes will be added this training session. We've also partnered with industry trainers to provide content for our online library, some of which was filmed at this year's show. Also, we will be holding our fifth annual leadership conference uh, in February from the, 20th, from the 20th and the 21st with leadership training from the Pennsylvania Co College of Technology. Uh, this is the second topic in the leadership series that will focus on performance management. The conference is great um, for experienced managers and those uh, new to the position or even those who are just looking to improve their leadership skills. PRVCA is also planning to purchase additional training equipment so that we can start offering RVTI level two training. Our education director's goal is to provide more education to more members. If you ever have a training idea also, just let us know if there's something that you think that you would benefit from and other dealers would benefit from, just let us know. Uh, you can contact the PRVCA office or just email education at prvca.org. Again, we're always looking for new, new ideas and continuing education. Um, move on to the show this year. Um, again, PRVCA hosts the uh, America's largest RV show. This year was our 54th annual one. Again, overall, the show was a success. Uh, manufacturers and booth vendor spaces were completely sold out again. Our attendance was over 45,000 this year. Uh, the feedback that we got from exhibitors and vendors was that people were still buying, uh, even with the current economic concerns. Our sponsorship sales were down a little bit uh, from the previous years. We had five less companies sponsored. Uh, advertising sales remained almost the same as 2022. We had two less companies that advertised and the ones that did return bought smaller ads. Um, sponsorships and advertising though still brought in uh, over $130,000. So we also had our annual giveaway at the show this year, uh, partnered up with Cortez Campers and Liberty RV of Gettysburg. Um, this was our largest one ever with a value of $45,022 for the, this year's giveaway. So we'd like to thank, thank them for helping us out. Uh, also, the RV shop hosted a happy hour following Tuesday's Industry Day. It was very well received. Thank you, everybody that attended that. We also had a silent auction for our PAC fund. Uh, this year was a huge success. Uh, Daniel did an excellent job uh, bringing over $9,000 for the PAC fund. Again, that's our best, one of our best PAC fundraisers we've ever had. So thank everybody that purchased and participated in that online auction. We also hosted uh, Susquehanna High School during Industry Day's uh, during the show to give the students an, an idea of what the RV industry is like, specifically the RV technician career path. Um, the show has been a great venue for us to market that profession to potential technicians. Again, one thing that uh, we like to note is that the show funds that we get from the show helps our year-round marketing and education. Again, we offer our education for free. Uh, it's a large expense for the organization. But with the participation in the show, it helps us uh, offset that. And that's, again, that's what the organization is all about. Again, throughout the year, we offer that free for members. So on behalf of the PRVCA, I'd like to thank all the manufacturers, dealers, exhibitors uh, who supported the show this year. Um, dedication is what makes this event the success that it is. Next, we're going to move on to some marketing highlights. Uh, we currently have over 3,000, or I'm sorry, 32,800 followers on social media. That's a 17% increase over last year. 
Uh, marketing also sends out a digital annual report sent each January, highlighting the year's accomplishments. We also currently have 10 year-round billboards directing consumers to our website and membership listings. Uh, we also uh, had an excellent response to last year's PA Explore magazine. Some of you, most of you probably should have seen that and got some for your store. Uh, the new edition will be out in January. It not only um, is a guide for the consumers, but it also lists all PRVCA members complete with a description and contact information. The magazine gets distributed through PA Welcome Centers, uh, the member locations, shows across the Northeast and uh, various of Chamber Commerces and Visitor Centers across the state also. Um, they also send out a, a membership newsletter and we also send out a consumer newsletter as well. Again, all of these marketing initiatives have one thing in mind and that's getting our uh, members' names in front of our consumers. Again, that's our, that's our main goal. Um, next, we're going to move on to uh, legislative, and I'd uh, like to introduce Andy Goodman of Mill Iron Goodman and Associates. So they uh, help us stay on top of any legislative issues that, that come up in Pennsylvania. So, Andy, and I think it's turn actually, it over to you. I think it's actually Carrie. That's on. I saw. Uh, I, I'm here there. too. Oh, no, oh Andy's here too. Oh, I didn't see you, Andy. All right. I'm going to stop oh. sharing my screen so you guys can take the floor. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's Good to see you and be a part of your meeting today. Um, I'm Andy Goodman, managing partner of Mill Iron and Goodman. We've represented PRVCA for 30 years at this point. It's been a long-term partnership, and, and we certainly enjoy working on your behalf in the state capitol. Uh, politics. First of all, we have a new uh, governor in Josh Shapiro. We have, uh, for the first time in 12 years, the Democrats running the state house by one vote majority, and the Republicans maintain a control and majority in the state Senate. Um, we are going into uh, an elective election year next year, fully expect to see lots of politics uh, on a state level and also obviously with the presidential coming up as well. Um, PRVCA has been and will continue to be a bipartisan organization. We work with both parties. Uh, we have friends on both sides of the aisle and we've been fortunate in the sense that when legislative issues move forward, we have friends, whether the Democrats are in the majority or in the minority or Republicans are in the majority of the minority, we've continued to be able to move forward with the issues that affect our uh, RV dealers and campgrounds out there. So, and tourism as well. Um, I'm gonna turn it over to Carrie to talk a little bit about uh, the legislative items, uh, but please, anytime you feel, uh, reach out to our firm. Um, I would urge you all on a grassroots level to get to know your state house member, state senators, uh, there are a lot of new faces making policy decisions that do have an effect on your business. Carrie? Still muted. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you all. So back in 2018, I, I think you are all well aware, we had a bill signed into law for you. It was Act 134, 2018. And what it did basically was make the distinction between RV dealers and car dealers in law. So both of you fall under the State Board of Vehicles Act. Um, and it was confusing to read through that law. You were all mixed in together. Um, and it was it was clarified that you were separated out. You recreated a new chapter for the RV dealers um, to make that distinction. Since 2018, we've heard from several of your members about some hiccups in, in the act that need to be clarified. Um, some are really relatively minor, others are a little bit larger and, and will need a little bit more effort um, to, to clarify. Um, so we are looking to introduce a bill relatively soon here, um, hopefully by Senator Pennyquick. Um, that, will, that will make some clarifications. Uh, three of the the larger um, aspects of the bill, it, the first one will clarify that RV dealers shall be permitted to purchase available warranty parts from a supplier other than the manufacturer, um, helping to ensure that the warranty repairs are completed as efficiently as possible for consumers. Uh, the second one would clarify language regarding labor rates for warranty service. Um, so right now, that's currently based on this vague interpretation of reasonable compensation. No one really knows what that is, so we're going to try to mirror the automotive dealer's language for that. 
Um, and then the third, which I don't know, it's it's going to be an interesting one um, to see how legislators are receptive to this. Um, but we're looking to protect consumers from rogue dealers who host pop-up RV shops, pop-up RV style events. Um, so we are looking to clarify that that should not be allowed. Um, and that's that's in our bill language right now. So we have a bill drafted, ready to go. We have a co-sponsorship mem memo ready to go. Um, we are currently working on, on getting a prime sponsor in the Senate, um, and that should be done pretty, pretty soon here. Uh, we are expecting that the bill, once introduced, will go to the Senate Licensure Committee, where it was referred to before. Um, we had some conversations with the previous bill sponsor. It was Senator John Gordner. He's no longer a senator, but he still works in the Senate. He is the chief counsel. So we touched base with him, um, kind of picked his brain and and kind of got a lay of the land in the Senate as far as our RV language goes. And he was very supportive um, of us requesting that Senator Pennyquick introduce the bill. Um, she is on the licensure committee and she also has an RV dealer in her district. So I think she will be a good sponsor if she agrees to it and hopefully we get an answer from from her office pretty soon brad and heather and and steve they've all been very helpful in in getting this bill language drafted so um thank you all for your help with that <laughs> i will add there, there's other issues out there that we're paying yeah. attention to and keep our, our fingers on the pulse of lemon law uh, a number of other issues, consumer issues that certainly have an effect on our business. And we're not going to go through them all today, but certainly uh, have an open door policy if you have further discussion or interest to talk about later on. Thanks, Heather. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you guys very much. Again, uh, they stay on top of stuff and we stay on top of stuff that benefits all dealers in Pennsylvania. And again, we thank them for all that they do behind the scenes. A lot of it is a lot of time that's done behind the scenes and also the legislative committee too. So I'd like to thank them. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our awards now. The first one we're gonna do is our education award. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, education uh, is very important to the association. Uh, being a leader in industry education is one of our primary missions. Um, the Education Award uh, recognizes the member that completed the most PRVCA training from September of 22 to August of 23. Uh, so coming in third this year was Wide World RV Center. They had sent 19 employees to seven different trainings. Um, the runner up for this year was uh, Myers RV Superstore. They sent 46 employees to five different trainings. And this year's Gary Bunzer Education Award winner sent 78 employees to 10 different trainings. Uh, it's my pleasure to present this year's award for the second year in a row to RV Value Mart. So congratulations, guys. Hi, I'm Megan McLean. I am the Marketing and Education Coordinator for the Pennsylvania RV and Camping Association. I am here today with Brandon Eckert the Service and Parts Manager for RV Value Mart, and I am honored to be presenting the Gary Bunzer Education Achievement Award for the year 2022 to 2023. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're honored to receive this award. Uh, we believe that, that uh, education is very, very important in our industry. Uh, the more educated our techs are, the better they're going to be able to perform. All right. Congratulations, guys. Uh, you earned it. Um, next, we're going to move on to our Rebecca Lennington Volunteer of the Year Award. Um, this award recognizes an individual that goes above and beyond when it comes to the commitment to and dedication to this association. Um, this year's recipient has uh, served with PRVCA for nearly 20 years, has also served on a, numerous committees, and also had two terms as chairman also. Uh, however, the recent focus this past year was and our legislative issues. He uh, helped us revamp the legislative committee, uh, made policy awareness a priority, and has been uh, working diligently in introducing the new legislation that benefits our all of our dealer members. So there's no more one, no one more deserving to the Volunteer of the Year Award this year to Brad Roan. Congratulations, Brad.
Okay, Brad, we're here today to present to you the Volunteer of the Year Award for everything you've done, not only in the past year, but obviously the entire time that you've served PRVCA, but especially this past year with all your legislative initiatives that you began and um, will be continuing, I'm sure, into the next year. But on behalf of PRVCA, we want to thank you so much for everything that you do for the association. I'm happy to present this to you. Well, thank you very much, Heather. I greatly appreciate it. And I really enjoy my time with PRVCA. I really do. Uh, I feel like I give a lot less than I get, but I think that's what uh, uh, it works for everybody. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you. Proud. I'm honored. Thank you. All right. Thanks again, Brad, for all you do. Again, I'll just to thank all the uh, <laughs> all the employees of PRVCA for all that you do behind the scenes also that you don't get enough credit for all the work that you do. And then again, all the executive board and directors uh, for helping us out throughout the year. Again, we couldn't do it without all of you. And then can finally like to thank all of our manufacturers and dealers that uh, and vendors that help us out throughout the year. So uh, that's all that I have. Again, thanks for attending. I'll turn things back over to Heather for her closing remarks. Well, before we conclude, I do just want to thank everybody for joining us today. And I also want to thank the PRBCA staff for all that they do. And I just want to make sure our members are also aware that the staff is a resource to them. So I just wanted to kind of run through everybody real quick so that you know who is here and we're available for any questions or concerns that you have throughout the year. As I said, I'm Heather Leach, the Executive Director. Daniel Jusco is our Membership and Operations Director. Elizabeth Peroni is our Marketing Director. James Lubomsky is our Education Director. Carolyn Riley is our Finance Director. Megan McLean, the Marketing and Education Coordinator. Teresa Severance, our Administrative Assistant, um, who you probably hear every time you call into the office. Um, and Ray Worley is our Graphic Designer. So. I just want to make sure that everybody knew that throughout the year, if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out and we will do our best to um, answer any questions or concerns that you may have. Um, and with that, that concludes our 2023 annual meeting. Um, thank you all so much for attending and um, we look forward to having a really great 2024. Um, so have a great upcoming holiday season and uh, we'll, we're here for you when you need us. So thank you. Thanks, everybody.